Hello, welcome back to 1001 Beers. You must travel before you die. Got Tim behind the camera once again, here in the hotel room in California. We're having some lovely beers, which we found in a local beer shop from the book. Brilliant, I've never seen them before. So what we've got now is a porter, and this is Eel River Organic Porter from Eel River Brewing. Uh, first brewed in 1995, it's 5.8%, and here's a nice bottle of it here. Got a couple of those. The nice thing about uh, beer shops in America is you can buy them in sort of six packs or four packs and sort of study bottles here. This means you only have to have, to have a little bit, which is quite good. And they're really not expensive at all. Um, so first of all, talk about the bottle. So Eel River Brewing Company. This is USDA organic approved, and I'll explain about that in a minute, because um, the whole story behind it. But it says here, brewed by Eel River Brewing Company, uh, Scotia, uh, California certified organic by CCOF. I don't know what that means exactly, uh, but it is certified organic, and I think that is quite a big thing. So uh, let's talk about the taste and notes. Deepest mahogany in colour with a solid buff head. That's that buff head, uh, and a milk chocolate nose with a touch of caramel and espresso. The mouthfeel is creamy with flavours of cocoa and roasted coffee. Right. Well, I found a nice little thing here. We were, we were trying to find a bottle open, and we realised we could just use the the drawer. Uh, there, which is uh, very handy. Nice little cup again. Oh, it's very dark. Porter should be. I don't really associate America with dark beers that much, and it's quite nice when they make some really good. I have already reviewed quite a few dark beers from America, so it's quite nice when they have these. So, nice, big, thick, luscious head there. Uh, it is a very solid buff head, as you can probably see uh, from the camera. Uh, I see it's got a milk chocolate nose. It does smell a bit of milk chocolate. It's milk chocolate and definitely a bit of coffee as well. That's interesting. Um, <clears throat> let's go for the taste. Cheers. Mm, very nice. That is a very nice porter. It is quite chocolatey, but I like the fact it's just a porter. It's a standard porter. Um, they haven't added like loads of crazy flavours to it. Um, it does say here, Eel River Organic Porter starts its life as Ravensborough Porter, but not originally organic beer. Um, it said that uh, the Eel River Brewing Company only brews organic beers in a biomass powered facility, which is fascinating. Uh, the brewery was a former lum lumber mill in Scotia, Northern California, and Eel River was the first brewery in the United States to, to be certified organic, so that's an interesting one. There are quite a few organic breweries in Britain, so that's interesting to see this one, and this one's obviously 1995. I imagine that predates a lot of the organic breweries in Britain. Uh, they use no animal byproducts either, so all the beers are not only just organic, but also vegan. Uh, the tagline, even though it's not in the bottle, does say, be natural, drink naked. <laughs> Um, the port uses five varieties of organic malted barley, caramel, chocolate malt. Um, it says uh, two hot varieties, Halatau and Pacific Gem, which is from New Zealand. And the beer has won 20 awards, including 10 gold medals. Now I'm glad some, some regular viewers of, of, the, of the video series will... Uh, I'll often talk about the chocolate coins. A lot of beers will have these little medallions. On the, now they have not done that, they, they're happy to stand on it just in its normal branding. So I'm pleased they haven't gone for chocolate coins even though they have won medals at various competitions. So I'm going to pick that up and show you that again very quickly and leave it there. So like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you for another beer review very, very soon.